if I could describe C2C in a few words, it would be education, family, success. I decided throughout going to school that I wanted to go directly into the workforce and it was hard to do that with a criminology degree. Um, I had a strong desire and passion to want to help people, so I decided to go ahead and go to COTC with the law enforcement option, um, hoping to be a police officer. The reason I do what I do, um, again, I'm a detective with Pataskala, um, and in my job I focus solely, not solely, but mostly on child abuse, neglect, and sexual assault cases. Um, those cases really hit home to me to a point where it, I want to help the little people who can't really help themselves, and, and mostly that's why I do what I do. Recently I, I re-enrolled in COTC and I will be taking classes out in Pataskala and it's just really close to my home and makes it very, very, very convenient. I had quite a few memories from COTC. Um, most of all the instructors were very helpful. We had a small uh, student class so I, I gained a lot of friendships here at COTC. Um, and that has also impacted my job because now I have connections with Pickerington Police Department, with Groveport Police Department, um, and agencies that we work with on a regular basis. My lasting impression of COTC was um, educators who actually cared in the direction that I was going um, with my future. They actually gave me some advice and, and such like that that would kind of gear me in the direction that I needed to go. My advice for the next generation of COTC students um, would be to stick with it. Um, you stick with your career choices and your education choices and you're going to succeed. When I think about students who can't afford to continue, um, it kind of pains me. I was actually in that situation where I did not have financial aid, I did not have scholarships, so I had to quit um, coming to school and that's why I'm coming back to school now um, to finish up with a forensics degree. But it, it's very difficult to try to find the funding to come to school. Uh, so hopefully scholarships and such like that will be beneficial for students so that they can finish and they can succeed in their jobs. Talking to somebody wanting to make a contribution to COTC, I would express to them that many students really want to continue with their education, but they can't really continue unless they have the funding um, to do that. And being a, a benefactor or contributing to COTC would really pound home the idea that success comes from hard work, determination, and also a helping hand.